And it's no secret that gas prices are still hurting the wallets of countless Californians. But one San Diego analyst predicts those prices could drop slightly for the state. Patrick DeHaan is the head petroleum analyst at GasBuddy. He says that while the amount of oil being released over the next six months is not huge compared to our national consumption, it is enough to help fill the gap left by the Russian oil ban. He says he expects to see a drop in prices in the coming weeks and that given the pandemic, anything that can reduce financial stress for Californians is a good thing. It's a psychological effect of fear. It's a very profound and strong emotion, and that's the way the market reacts to uncertainty. I mean, we're still in the middle of a pandemic. I mean, we're, we're hoping we're coming out of it, right? Um, but there's been a tremendous amount of supply chain issues that have held back U.S. oil production. That's part of the problem. Nahan also adding that a big source of frustration for Californians are those high state gas taxes. And gas prices continue to hover around record levels nationwide. And this week, leaders of many energy companies nationwide will be testifying in front of Congress. So is anything more expected out of Washington to bring relief to the pump? Scripps reporter Joe St. George takes an in-depth look at the possible outcomes. If you're anything like me by now, you're sick of the stories, sick of the sounds, tired of the numbers and the signs that take money out of your pocket. You're especially sick of walks down memory lane. Remember when gas was under $2 a gallon in April of 2020? What you're likely sick of the most is a lack of action from Washington when it comes to the high price of gasoline. But that could be changing soon. There isn't enough supply. To be clear, Washington has done some things in the last few days. President Biden has pledged to release 1 million barrels of oil a day for 180 days from the nation's petroleum reserve. And Secretary of Transportation Pete Buttigieg announced on Friday a plan to increase fuel efficiency standards in all new cars beginning in 2024. So far, though, those announcements have only moved the markets marginally. So what additional options do lawmakers have? Option number one, pressure oil executives to produce more oil and limit profits this week on Wednesday, the leaders of Shell, BP, Chevron, as well as ExxonMobil are expected to testify on Capitol Hill, with Democrats planning to push their companies to do more to lower the cost. Option number two, fine oil companies for not drilling. The president has called on Congress to penalize businesses that have leases to drill or frack on federal land but currently are not. Energy companies have pushed back, saying not every location is capable of producing oil. And as a result, this idea is looking less likely to make it through a divided Senate. Option number three, a gas tax holiday or rebates. One Democratic idea is to send $100 a month to every American making under 75000 for the rest of the year, as long as gas is above $4. But that idea still lacks the necessary support on Capitol Hill, with some preferring a suspension of the federal gas tax instead, which is 18 cents a gallon. But listen to what Speaker Nancy Pelosi has to say about that. The con is that the oil companies do not necessarily pass that on to the consumer. In Washington, I'm Joe St. George.